Hello you guys, welcome to today's vlog. So it is currently Monday and I just got ready for the gym. I did my morning yoga. It's just after 9 now and I'm going to head out to go to the gym and I also looked at my fridge and my kitchen and realized we are out of groceries pretty much. We just don't have any fruit, like fresh fruit for me to eat. Um, we just don't really have anything to make dinners with. I really want to go to grocery shopping and I'm probably just going to do that right after I'm done at the gym because I'm out anyway so I may as well just get it done then. But yeah, I really just want to have a productive day today and get shit done, restock the house with food and just get everything off of my to-do list checked off. And I love really just doing my best and trying my best on Mondays because it really just does set up the rest of my week for success and yeah, so that is the plan for today i'm really excited because i think i'm going i think i'm going to go get a new camera maybe tomorrow i'll talk more about it when it happens but i'm super excited but anyways let's go to the gym <laughs> eyebrow gel but i want it in clear because i don't want it to be tinted but i think that all the clear ones are sold out and they were sold out at walmart too so i feel like those are just the most popular okay i just got to the grocery store i'm at like a little farm market with like a whole bunch of fruit i love snacking on like fresh fruit joel not so much he doesn't really eat fresh fruit he'll have like fruit in the smoothie or whatever but like he won't ever like just go and grab a fruit to eat but i like it so um, I'm just gonna pick out a couple of things for myself just to have so I can snack on even like grapes I kind of miss having grapes. So I'm definitely gonna get some grapes Um, which is really random but like I've just been craving grapes when they're crisp and juicy. Oh, they're so good And then I'm gonna head over to The place that I get meat and then just probably get some maybe fish and Joel said he wants chicken wings So we'll see it's actually kind of sunny Which is making me so happy because I was looking at the weather for this whole week and it's supposed to be like just constantly raining and not getting any warmer which is kind of sad it's may and it's like literally june next month and the weather is just not like getting warmer it's just raining every day which is kind of sad and like doesn't put me in the best mood you know because we have like rain all year round and when it's supposed to be like sunny and nice it sucks when it's not um but at the same time when i think of it i'm like would I like to live in somewhere like California where it's sunny all the time? Like, would I like that? I have no idea, to be honest, because, like, I've never experienced that. Like, I do like gloomy days. I really do enjoy them. But, like, when they're constantly happening every every single day, that's when it kind of gets, like, old. And you're like, okay, now I want the sun and, like, warm weather. Um, yeah, anyways, let's go grocery shopping. <laughs> So here's an overview of grocery haul. Salmon fillets, honey garlic chicken wings. I got chicken thighs. These were really good the last time we had them. Um, and then I got chicken cordon blues because I love those. And then I just got a bunch of yams because I really want to start like making yam fries and just like incorporating more potatoes. I got two avocados, um, yellow bell peppers. These are supposedly really good for your skin. Um, I got pierogies. And then these are the Asian apples or pears that I really like. 
And then I literally just got one apple because Joel doesn't really eat fresh fruit. So just got this for myself. And then I saw corn and I was really excited because I haven't had corn in so long and I was just kind of craving it. So this will be good to have with a dinner. I got some little potatoes just to cook on the side. Um, bok choy. I got grapes, mangoes, and bananas. And then I got watermelon because the last time that I bought a full watermelon, I cut it up and it was just really gross inside so this is kind of promising like it looks pretty good so i hope it is <music> Thank you to Buy Optimizers for sponsoring this video. So they recently just released their brand new magnesium breakthrough and it's the most powerful magnesium supplement on the market today. By taking this supplement, you can reduce your stress, improve your sleep and boost your energy levels. So magnesium is actually involved in 80% of the body's metabolic, I think the word is metabolic reactions. And 75% of people are low in magnesium, which is crazy. Being low on magnesium can actually affect your body more than you think. Because when you don't get enough magnesium, you can suffer from poor sleep, low energy levels, and higher stress levels as well which is not good. So all you have to do is take two capsules before you go to sleep and it'll help you have a great sleep and then when you wake up in the morning, you should feel more energized as well. So they also sent me a bunch more of their supplements <laughs> and everything, which I'm so excited about. They are most popular for their magnesium um, breakthrough product, but they also have like a lot more. So for example, they have P3OM, and I'm gonna explain what that is in a sec. And then they have like masszymes, not sure how to pronounce, but. So masszymes actually helps you digest and absorb protein more easily. If you're working out and everything, it's going to help build your muscles faster. So with the P3OM, it's actually a formula that aids in digestion, immune support, and gut health because it is filled with probiotics that double every 20 minutes. So these are awesome. And I've been also really trying to like just get my gut health really healthy because everything stems from your gut, you guys, every single thing. And when your body's healthy, you feel good, you look good, and you can just conquer your day and be energized and have good sleeps and just be happy. So if you guys want to shop them, I will have obviously all the links below, their website below, and you guys can use code Michaela 10 to get a discount. But yeah, so if you guys aren't happy with your purchase, they offer a 365 day, so one year money back guaranteed. But yeah, so again, check out the link in the description, use my code Michaela 10 to save 10% off and you can also get free shipping with that. So um, yeah. currently at the gym and yeah i just gonna vlog today because oh i just got a text it's for just from my agency anyways okay so i have this matcha shot that has like adaptogens in it as well and i'm gonna take this before the gym to give me some energy i usually don't even like have caffeine before the gym but i want to see if it's gonna affect my workout and i know like matcha isn't like an extreme amount of caffeine like doesn't have as much coffee or an energy drink so we're gonna test this out and see how i like it cheers whenever people take health shots they always like think it's so gross but i love it i love the tanginess i love the ginger the garlic like whatever is in there that makes it healthy i don't know why i just love it like i love it tasting not sweet i don't know i just don't find it gross at all Mm. that was good do i feel like working out right now not really like i honestly have like really lazy vibes today i always let my body rest when it needs to but there's like kind of a point when it becomes 
am I burnt out and I need a rest or am I just being lazy? Like it comes to a point personally that I feel like sometimes I just need to push myself and be like, okay, let's go to the gym. Like it's going to make you feel good. And there's no harm in doing that because like, I'm just like push, giving myself a little push determination. Yeah. I kind of made a commitment to myself that I want to come to the gym at least like three times a week. And if I can on my off days when I don't want to do weights, I can just do like 12 through 30, like just do some cardio. So I'm kind of making a commitment to myself to just get some more movement and especially now that the weather's getting nicer, it's like more motivating, you know? Anyways, let's go freaking work out and kill it. Okay, all right, that's fine, okay. Think we got too sexy for that metro house. Diamond popped out, almost swallowed 60,000. Section need more things in here, I like it crowded. Okay, I just finished my workout. It was actually a pretty good workout. Like, I'm dead and I can't wait to go home, make a nice protein smoothie. But anyways, I just wanted to come on here and talk about something because it's just kind of on my mind. And it's like, okay, let's say you planned on going to the gym and then you realize you're like, oh shit, like I actually don't feel like going. And like you're listening to your body. And then the thing is, is that we always feel this guilt, right? We always feel this guilt after we don't do something that we like plan to do or if we're not productive, we feel this guilt and we kind of like almost like reminisce on it and like think about how like, oh, like we get down on ourselves for not doing it and you guys know what I mean because everybody does it. But I just wanted to say that like there's no point of getting down on yourself and feeling guilty about it. Let's say you had an unproductive day, okay? First of all, you can't go back in the past and change it. There's nothing you can do. Can't go back in the past and change it. There's nothing you can do. It's in the past, it's fine. Second of all, you are listening to your body and maybe that's exactly what your body needed was to be unproductive and just have a chill day with yourself and be lazy and do what you wanted to do. And you have to like really know that and tell yourself that it's okay because I was just saying to Joel and I was like, it's society that programs us that makes us think that we have to be productive monday through friday like we can't slack during the week because it's like a work week that's society that says that that's not your life that's not your journey like do you know what i mean it's like we came on this earth to have fun to explore i mean everybody is here for a different purpose but i feel like in the grand scheme of things we're here on this earth to enjoy to learn lessons to grow and just to really enjoy life you know and so if you have a couple days in the week or you have a day that like you don't you're not productive and you're just kind of listening to your body you just do what you want to do oh my god like the last thing we should do is feel guilty about that because we are just that's just living our damn lives who cares if it's a wednesday who cares if it's a monday and you're doing that just because society says that you need to be productive monday through friday does not make it true you know and i was just thinking about that and I'm like holy shit that's so true like you kind of have to unprogram yourself and just realize that every single day is a new day and every single day is a part of your journey and whatever happens that day is meant to happen and it's kind of important to sometimes not label your days like don't think oh it's a monday so i have to be productive if it makes you feel good to be productive on a monday and you want to be then great for you but if you don't then that's your life and that's your journey and that's it doesn't have to be a monday you know you like I feel like we just kind of have to stop labeling the day sometimes and just realize that like this is your life that you're living and every single day that you wake up it's a brand new day you can do what the hell you want to do it's society that tells you that there's a monday through friday there's a work week but there, a work week doesn't actually exist do you know what i mean by that like we're on this planet earth in the middle of space a work week is so irrelevant to the actual meaning of life it's kind of really weird what i'm saying and i don't even know if this makes any sense but it kind of makes sense in my head and it's kind of crazy just thinking about this. Anyways, that's just so random, but yeah, I thought I'd share because it was just something I was thinking about and I'm like, whoa, like that is kind of crazy. I guess I'll talk to you guys later. Okay, let's go.
just showed up at my door. Time for a haul. Hey, let's do a little unboxing. I'm so excited. I literally like getting packages, especially clothes in the mail, just like, mm, good, this is good. Fun fact, I've actually never ordered from Aritzia online before. I've always ever bought in person, but yeah, so I've never gotten one of these cutie bags before. Okay, so the first thing that I got is this Divinity Romper. So I don't know if you guys have seen these before, but these are so popular. And I have been wanting one since the last summer, but last summer they were all sold out because it just got so popular and everybody wanted one. And so this is why I made the order was because in stores they didn't have this color that I wanted and they were selling out, like the black was all sold out and they were like, oh, we're not shipping until July. Like they were on back order and I really wanted to get my hands on one. So I had to make sure to hop on the boat before summer starts, but I am absolutely in love with this color. It's kind of like a bluey-ish purple-ish and just imagine this with like a white long sleeve cover up over top with some like Air Forces. This would be so cute in the summer. I'm obsessed. Okay, next thing I got is this just this really basic plain white tee. And I don't know why, but I've been wanting like a little button down cutie t shirt for a long time because this is kind of just like a staple and I can wear this with basically anything. So, really love this and it's just so just cute and dainty. And then I got this green um, tank top. It's like a little button down as well. And I've just been obsessed with this color and this is just kind of like a really cute tank top to throw on in the summer and Yeah, love 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 this color So cute and then last thing I got is this pink tank top It just has like little ruching here and a little bow in the middle. It's so cute. Oh my god. I'm obsessed This color is just everything and yeah, that's all that I got. Oh my god, this is actually so cute. What the heck? The colors actually look so cute together. But anyways, that's my mini Aritzia haul. Really excited. Okay, alright.